So I've had a couple of people ask me about timing on these two-cylinder tractors. This is a 1937 Model B that had a governor bearing collapse on the impulse side and it wouldn't govern, throttle wouldn't work, governor wouldn't work. So anyway, I'm replacing the governor housing and putting a new shaft in. Um, when you rotate the flywheel and you get it up on number one top dead center, number one piston is the flywheel side. When the piston's up on number one top dead center where the impulse or the magneto would snap, you'll see LH impulse on the flywheel. And on the main case, there's a mark right here. That mark lines up with the indentation on the flywheel, which in turn says left hand impulse. At that point, on the camshaft, if you pull that that four bolt or five bolt cover off, this little bugger right here, you pull this cover off, that's the gear you'll be seeing behind there. On this particular tractor, there are no timing marks on the gear, and where there's no timing marks, there's usually a beveled tooth. Well, there's no beveled teeth on this particular gear. What I look at is when the tractor's on number one top dead center and the magneto is off the tractor, that drive coupling that runs the magneto should be sitting flat. So it don't matter where this thing goes. See, there's a timing mark on that governor gear right there. So that in turn would say that on the other side, the impulse coupling should be flat. Just about like that. So that does that timing mark insider doesn't really mean anything, especially when there's no corresponding marks on the camshaft gear. Just as long as the drive coupling on the back side is sitting flat. So when you bolt your magneto up and your impulse coupling is just snapped on number one and it's about to fire on number two. You turn it to magneto and snap it on number one and turn it back to where that impulse coupling is laying flat. Then you can bolt that mag on. If you have that cover off, if you have this four bolt cover off, do not put the magneto on first. This shaft in here, she's spring loaded. So this this governor shaft has got pressure on it, pushing it towards the flywheel of the tractor, which will in turn, it will disconnect from the, the uh, coupling on the magneto back here. And if it gets off a turn and your magneto hasn't turned and you're fighting trying to get the bolts to put back in, and then you put the bolts in and get them started and you push that bugger back, guess what? You're going to be buying a magneto because it'll push and break the magneto housing. So the magneto housing must be off the tractor before you do anything with the governor or pulling the shaft out of it. So that's where I stand as far as the timing marks go on the camshaft, which like I said on this one, there are no marks. And that would throw a lot of people off or scare them. It don't matter. That, that timing mark on the governor is there I don't know why it's not on the camshaft, but I'm going to put it there for the next guy. But that's timing. As long as you're on number one top dead center with LH impulse and the flywheel lined up to the mark on the main case, the governor, the coupling drive should be sitting horizontal. Hope that helps. Take care.